Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In today's tutorial we're going to be learning uh, how to basically put a texture onto a mesh part or a part that you have inserted into Roblox Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a part like this. This, uh, this came from the toolbox as you can see. It was this rock wall and I've took off the uh, texture that was previously on it and now we kind of put like this pebble surface. So say we would want to uh, change this, maybe to like a dark rock uh, texture. This is how you do it. So a good website to use is this one called polyhaven.com. And um, this one has some really good textures that you can use, as you can see here. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of them are free, if not most of them. So we're just gonna look up rock texture. As you see, it gives us a list of different textures we can use. We're going to go ahead and use this one right here. So as you can see here, it gives you a few options to download here. You're going to want to do, click on the, this might say 4K. Make sure it is 2K. Roblox only allows that. And then you're going to want to click these three lines. <clears throat> and then you're only going to be downloading three of these. And it's going to be the PNG. It's going to be the diffuse, the normal, and the rough. We're going to be downloading the diffuse first. And then the normal. And it should pop up here and then the rough so basically you're going to want to you can put these into a folder and uh, yeah, I'll do that real quickly so as you saw there I put all the um, all these PNGs into a folder we're then going to go back into Roblox Studio and then you're going to locate your mesh part. You're going to click on it and then up here in Explorer, make sure you have it enabled. If you do not go to view at the top here, click Explore and then click properties as well. Go back home, go up here to the mesh part. We're going to hit the plus icon and we're going to insert a service appearance. Inside the service appearance, we're then going to go to the color map, normal and roughness. Those are the three that we downloaded. We're, then, we're first going to go to the color map. Also, I had this problem before. If it does not show up first where you can click on it and then just go to the folder, make sure you hit publish to Roblox here in the file. Once your game is published, you can then go back into it, open up the surface appearance, Click on color map, add image, choose file, go into our folder. The color map is going to be the normal looking one. So it's going to be this one right here. We're going to create. And as you see, it puts the texture on and we're not done yet. We still have two more to put in. You want to then go to normal map, click on it. And then this is going to be the, it's usually going to be purple, maybe a little pink that type of picture. I'm going to create. And then you can see it creates a much, much more de detailed and defined kind of material. And then you now want to go to roughness and you're just doing the same thing, except this time you're going to want to look for the grayish. It may say rough, but sometimes it doesn't always, but it's usually this gray one. Then you want to create. So as you see, it creates a beautiful texture which you can use in your game and then works with lighting. So if you go, you may have this plugin, you can just tell how much of a difference using these textures can make into your game. And as you can see, if you spend a little bit of time working with the different parts and lighting and all that, you can, uh, can make a pretty cool scene. Okay, so that was pretty much it for the video. It's a pretty simple one. Uh, this was my first video on this channel, so if you guys enjoyed, I would appreciate it if y'all liked the video and uh, leave suggestions in the comments on videos that I should upload. Should I post scripting videos? Should I post more videos like this? Simple Roblox Studio tips? Just let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the first one, and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.